thing in this video we'll see how to add the IOC images by referring some of the GNSC documentations which are available on the GNSC website. So these are the same three three links what I what I opened up here. You can see the basic steps are like the first thing uh, we assume as if we do have the GNS3 already pre-installed and also the, it is integrated with a VMware uh, because the GNS3 VM is already running in your computer. Now, so basically you'll see the steps here like uh, if you want to get some more information on the virtual IOS, you can visit this the viral.cisco website. So it's a virtual uh, program which allows you to run these images and you'll, you'll find some information on this. Now probably if you want to simulate these uh, images here, you need a couple of files like the first one you need an appliance file. So when you click on this link, you can download the appliance file. The Cisco IOSV, you can see here, it downloads. And also the next thing you, you need the image file and the image file is this one. You need this image file, the virtual IOS image file, uh, similar to the IOS images. And this file need to be integrated uh, with the help of this, this appliance file. So again, you can download this by going to the website here, viral, viral websites. If you have these images probably downloaded, you can use the Cisco official login to, to do this. Uh, you can use any of these images, like depends upon uh, what image you have. So, so here I'm just assuming as if you have downloaded this appliance file and you have this image. So probably you can, uh, the next thing, let's say this is, this, these are the steps you need to follow up. Like go to GNS3 and select import appliance. So once you select the import appliance, you need to select the appliance file. Now this appliance file, whatever you have downloaded here, you need to select this file. And the same steps applies for whether it is IOS V, whether it is a layer two or layer three image, even uh, similar steps, you, you do the same thing for the ASAV as well. So once you once you download this, select this file, you, you get these options, depending upon the file, whether it is a layer two or layer three, you, it will show you these options, click on next. And then you must select this appliance, must be running with a VM. And we assume as if the VM is already integrated with the, with the GNS3 here, uh, which I showed in the previous videos. And then you just click on next and finish. And once you click on next here, then it will show up some options here where you need to integrate the, the image, the file actually, the IBSV files, which you are downloaded from the Cisco website uh, using your, your partner logins. So probably then once you click on next. So if you have the images, probably you can, uh, if you have the specific images here you can select uh, whatever the image you have and then click on next and it's all next steps you know you just need to add or if you don't have image you can also go to a download option where you can also download the image directly by clicking this button here and once you select the image it will now again once you select this option you need to uh, select the actual image here and then it's all the same steps. Just click on next and then finish. And once you add the image, probably, and let's say if you do not have the specific version, then probably you can use a create a new version. Like let's say you don't have this version image, maybe you have downloaded some other image. You can actually click on new version and add that version. And you can also add that IOSV file. So it's not mandatory that you must be using the same version. But again, the version has to match whichever you select. If the existing list versions, uh, you don't have those same images, then you can, if you have any other images, select the option with the new version and just give the version name and, and try that one. So again, you have the steps for this as well. Like if you uh, get back in the last, probably you'll see some steps also there. So once you once you add these images, you will see this IOS V L2 15.2 image will be appliance will be added and it will show you in the in the install list devices probably when you click on this button here 
and now you can go to edit and preferences you can also add from here this is this is how uh, this is where it actually shows up in the camera vms these images now finally you can drag and drop these images and connect that to the existing devices like router ios or any other devices and you can start the device and then console just like a normal device and now you can simulate your ios v images whether it is a layer 2 or layer 3 again more applicable for layer uh, layer 2 options because uh, mostly with the ios you can still simulate the layer 3 devices with ios virtual ios as well as a normal ios but most probably this will be useful especially when you are trying to simulate some switches